These are the feast of Jehovah. What I'm telling you about are the feast of Jehovah. Now I want you to order this. This in critical, important, that, that it's a little, uh, just a introduction to each one of the seven annual holy days. It begins with the Passover, then it goes into the Days of Unleavened Bread, then Pentecost, then Trumpets, then Atonement, and the Feast of Tabernacles, and the Last Great Day. But, I mean, you can read this in one setting, okay? And you will be amazed. Now, let, let, let me just read this beginning right here. Very early in church history, this is a fact of history, fact of history, the dominant Christian churches made a transition from Sabbath to Sunday. That's a fact. You can put it in your pipe and smoke it, okay, as the day of worship. Very early in church history, the dominant Christian churches made a transition from Sabbath to Sunday as the day of worship. The holy days, what we're talking about today, fell into disuse and Christmas and Easter became the two great celebrations. Yeah, this is a fact of history. Did the church have the right to make such a change? Answer, absolutely not. There was no authority there to make this kind of a change. You need this publication and you will be amazed. I'm, I'm saying get yourself educated in the Word of God and what God, the feast of the Lord's seven annual holy. These are the feasts that Jesus kept. They're all about Jesus Christ, the seven annual holy days. And since they're all about Jesus Christ, I think it would be smart for us to study them and to understand what is the meaning behind these days. What is God trying to show us about salvation? About why are we here? What's it all about? What happens when you die? What is God up to? What is God planned for the future? What does he expect from you? What does he want from you? Is there such a thing as victory in overcoming our sins? Do we have to be enslaved to our bad habits, our vices, for the rest of our lives? Or is there a message of a way out and I'm telling you, there's a message of a way out. There's a message of liberty. There's a message of freedom. And it's found in the meaning of God's, and through the meaning of God's annual holy days. You don't know what you're missing. Is that really in the Bible? What you think is in the Bible is not.